Hi, it's Tracy HD here with another Oracle deck review. And today's review will be the Eternal Crystals Oracle Cards by Jade Sky. Now, another Facebook friend of mine, he had just received these cards. He tagged me and said he thought of me, and boy, was he right. I love crystals. I've never had a deck like this before. I'm so happy that he brought these to my attention because I immediately ordered them and just received them yesterday. Let's take a look at this box. First of all, the box is very well made. Nice, heavy, sturdy box. Inside, we have the guidebook. Okay. And it's a nice guidebook. It's a glossy finish. Okay, not a very thick guidebook, but I'm sure it has the information that you need inside here. We have the table of contents, the introduction, how to prepare your eternal crystal oracle cards, how to use the cards, different spreads, and then of course each card will have the picture in the upper left, the number and the name on the card, and it gives you a description very nice it's your average guidebook you know nothing uh too big nothing you know too small I, i've seen little inserts that were smaller than this this is a well-made book it's clear and to the point very user friendly okay and let's get to the cards okay and let me remove the band here and cards are beautiful look at that the backs of these cards are really like hypnotic. Look at them. You could actually meditate to these. It's a beautiful green. They're very shiny, glossy coat. Nice thick cards. Very well made. Let's see what they're like to shuffle. Very easy to shuffle. They're on the larger side, these cards. They're not small cards, but they're relatively easy to shuffle. They're, you know, pretty big. And let's take a look at the pictures. Okay, and Garnet. Commitment, Heart, and Sacral Chakra. Iolite, Family, Third Eye Chakra. And these cards also have numbers if you're into numerology, which a lot of my uh, card uh, videos uh, will give numbers out uh, for the viewers that are doing numerology. Uh, Kanzite, Children, Third Eye, and Heart Chakra. Labradorite, which is my favorite. Psychic Ability, Third Eye Chakra. Lapis Lazuli, Problems Resolved, Third Eye. Larimar, Water, Ocean, Throat Chakra. Lepidolite, Trust, Third Eye, and Crown Chakra. Malachite, Nature and Heart. Got a few stuck here. Moonstone, Moon Cycles, Crown Chakra. And the colors are so vivid and beautiful. I mean, really beautiful. The card is going to take on the color of the stone uh, for the majority of the card. Oakenite, Past Life Patterns. Peridot, Teach. Beautiful Green. Pipestone, Catlinite, Ancestors Root Chakra. Prenite is one of my favorite stones. I, I believe that Labradorite and Prenite are the ones that I gravitate towards the most. They say whatever stone or semi-precious stone or crystal is meant for you will be the one that catches your eye that you're just automatically drawn to. The stone will actually choose you. Rose Quartz, Ruby, Rutilated Quartz, Selenite, Seraphinite, Tiger Eye, very protective stone. I make a lot of Tiger's Eye jewelry. Tourmaline, I also make a lot of black tourmaline jewelry, which is protective as well. Turquoise, Unikite, Zebra Stone, Zincite, Amethyst, Angelite. I love Angelite. I was actually just making a bracelet and necklace of Angelite. You get the picture. Each has the picture of the stone and the color of the stone throughout the card. Bloodstone, carnelian. Oops. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards. I'm definitely glad that I purchased these. I cannot wait to work with them. Uh, beautiful, beautiful cards. Worth every penny. 
Um, they're great for a beginner. Uh, the guidebook is very handly, handy and user-friendly. Um, they're great for a professional. These would be suitable for anyone uh, looking for a unique deck. And uh, again, this is my first Crystal Oracle deck, and I'm sure I'm going to want to be looking to purchase more. Thank you for watching my review. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel.